If you have been watching our stuff, you know how sports and politics have always been intertwined. For Russia, many athletes have carried out Vladimir Putin's orders, bringing a direct injection of the country's politics into each and every competition. Recall Russian gymnast Ivan Kuliak, who donned the Z logo on his uniform, infamously known as the symbol of supporting the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Furthering this porous taste of a display, Kuliak did this as his competitor, gold medalist Kavtin Ilya, hails from Ukraine. The Z was becoming an obsession in Russia and a controversial symbol worldwide as the new way to signal approval for the war and loyalty to Russian President Vladimir Putin. A lot of people have been talking about this Z, something they've seen quite a bit over the last few days. Check out this video and you'll see the letter Z. There it is right there on the door of this car on Russian military vehicles. But get this. It's actually not a letter that even exists. It doesn't exist in Russia's alphabet. The Z has shown up on billboards in St. Petersburg, t-shirt stands in Moscow, auto rallies, and flash mobs created for social media. The letter has been used to vandalize the homes of Russians who oppose the war and is now banned from public display in several countries. And people in Russia saw the chance to use the Z as a tool for propaganda. That, my friends, is the crux and why it was so unfathomably disrespectful for Kuliak's display. Thus, following his act at the World Cup in Doha, Qatar, Ivan Kuliak is now facing punishment. The International Gymnastics Federation criticized Kuliak for his shocking behavior, and the athlete has now been sanctioned by the Disciplinary Commission of the Gymnastics Ethics Foundation for violating FIG rules. The GEF ruled that Kuliak is banned from any FIG affiliated event for 12 months and must return his bronze medal. If the protective measures keeping Russian athletes from competing are still in place, on the 17th of May in 2023, the ban shall continue and expire six months after the removal of said measures, the Federation's Disciplinary Commission said in its ruling. The commission found that Kuliak breached Federation statutes of discipline ethics, code of conduct, and technical regulations when he wore the letter Z on his uniform during the competition and the award ceremony. Kuliak, a former national junior all-around champ who did not compete in Tokyo, can appeal within 21 days. Fig also ordered Kuliak to return his prize money, about $502, and pay a further 2,000 Swiss francs for the cost of of proceedings. The Federation had on March 4th already barred athletes from Russia and its ally Belarus from joining any event or competition organized by FIG or its affiliate for an unspecified amount of time. Recently, we have seen the Z symbol and logo on Russian athletes in their efforts to promote Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Recall Olympic gold medalist Evgeny Rylov marching to the beat of Putin's drum at a rally in a soccer stadium in the country. Rylov, along with five other Russian athletes, donned the Z symbol as well. Rylov has handed down a pair of punishments. The first came from known brand Speedo, who announced the end of its contractual relationship with him after he attended the rally. The termination of its sponsorship deal came, then this. The International Swimming Federation suspended Rylov for nine months for the exact same reason Speedo did. The suspension was handed down roughly one month after attending the pro-war rally, which was held about four weeks after Russia's invasion of Ukraine began. Amid criticisms, Kuliak said he would do exactly the same if given another chance, according to Russian state media at the time, wrote CNN. Here's the lame duck unfounded response. I saw it with our military and look back at what this symbol means. It turned out it means for victory and for peace. Kuliak is quoted as saying in Russia-controlled media outlet RT, I didn't wish anything bad on anyone. I just showed my position. As an athlete, I will always fight for victory and stand for peace. Just a quick sidebar here. Russian disinformation has really been crushing it. The amount of disinformation that their own state-run media peddles in and operates with has led to something like Ivan Kuliak saying what he has said. While we acknowledge that he is wrong, it is paramount. And this disinformation and misinformation in droves has not only affected Russia and the mindset of its citizens, but also countryside in the United States of America. It has been proven time and time again, and that is a threat to democracy 
everywhere. Another important point, Kuliak, on his own volition, appeared to blame his Ukrainian opponents, whom he said escalated tensions at the competition. Their behavior at some points was completely unacceptable, Kuliak told RT. During performances, they would shout, glory to Ukraine, or go out on the podium wrapped in the national flag while we were considered neutral athletes, and because of this, we felt uncomfortable. He said the behavior of the Ukrainian athletes greatly escalated the situation, but Kuliak didn't provide evidence for his assertions, and footage from the podium ceremony showed that Kovtun Ilya was not draped in a Ukrainian flag. The the claim that Russia was seeking peace in Ukraine by launching an invasion is a frequent talking point in Russian media.